conversation before school. I'm spreading out. Pot roast. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Ooh. Ooh. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 <laughs> and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. <laughs> Your boyfriend's an asshole. He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Say what you feel. You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, oh, and... If your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure Dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. 
David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. I can't take any more arguing today. Go give David his keys. I don't know. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I'd better get going. Okay, you're not piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I'd gotten to my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Mom should date literally anyone else. Where's the socket wrench set again? All I see in the garage is family stuff. You know, not your stuff. Dick around on your own time. It's in the toolbox, in the garage. You won't be late to school on my watch. Guess I'm not into it. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. <laughs> What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. I should look in David's tool. Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Dad's old camera. Do they even make film for these anymore? Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that?
This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. By toolbox, did David mean this, or did he mean himself? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Got it. No, we're not. That's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon deposits. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> to roll please don't want to talk please don't want to talk please. i want to talk to you about something fuck we don't have to like each other but you will respect me you've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure so there's some things i want to be real clear about respect him yeah, I, I think it's time i show this asshole i'm not interested in anything he has to say What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? I'm sorry. I can't take you seriously with that mustache. You're so smart. Too bad you don't know who you're dealing with here. That's enough. 
won't stand for your disrespectful mouth. Regard for authority unites us, gives us dignity, and we are better united than divided. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, <laughs> get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Quiet now. You don't know how lucky you are to have a mother like Joyce. She's an amazing woman. Coddles you, it's true. But it's only because she loves you. Problem is, you don't learn discipline that way. Give me one chance to show her how things could be, and you'll be singing a different tune. Mark my words. Country? Music? Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Burning the midnight all again. <laughs> what a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. This... this isn't right. This... this isn't right. She'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. <laughs> Hello, Black Hell. Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? 
This. You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you wanna go together tomorrow? <laughs> that sounds awful. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. I may just shot. Me too, I guess. All right. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Got Gotta it. track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Uh, Nathan in tights. Can't unsee. Not for now. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Good. Look at the scene. Look at the graphics. No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this graphics. Problem nga lang pala. Walang... Like, walang way. Parang yung adjust yung graphics. Stick tayo sa default na to. I'm in trouble. One hour. Nima. You're gonna need that. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. <laughs> huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> no. But if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. I thought you high risks all stuck together. High risks? Oh, shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. Huh. High risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait. You saw Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. Don't judge. You can't judge a girl by the elitist fascist school her mother makes her go to, you know? <laughs> I get that. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. 
It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our Gemma out there, but it's hard. Miss Head, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Her time. I really gotta go, Skip. Maybe another time? Oh, yeah, no big deal. Of, of course. Another time's better. Cool. Well, th thanks anyway, Chloe. Hindi na kaawa rin yun. Kung maayos sa'yo, tas pangit ang trato mo. Miss Grant, the least lame teacher at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push me to succeed thing, though. Teka, teka. Minta. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. <laughs> Speak on. I'll see you in class, right, Chloe? <laughs> <laughs> Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. Oops. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Regard this goal. Tagata is a plus. Did last night really happen? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama Marites. star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton of crazier. Principal Wells. Hey. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm... Uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue.